Okay, my top couple of three super light e-bikes for 2025 going into 2026. Right now, what we're looking at is this Cannondale Tesoro. It's a really super nicely kitted out e-bike. I checked it out at Helen Cycles in Santa Monica, California. You know, one of my favorite things about these kind of bikes is just they ride so nice. And if you live in tight quarters, you can legitimately pick these up and throw them over your shoulder. You can find this one marked down on sale. It's just a beautiful bike with great components. And the most important part is that it rides really, really well. Next up, the legitimate OG of super light e-bikes. This specialized Turbo Vado SL. This is the carbon fiber version. This thing is just an incredible e-bike. It has great components. It has a mid-drive motor, great stopping power. Uh, it, it'll sustain the full 28 miles per hour out on the trail or on the road or what have you. The way they have it designed, you can get one of those water bottle hold sized uh, extra battery range extenders to pop in there. And they say that your range will get up over 100 miles. I think it's probably pretty close. I have a lot of experience with super lights and I think this is legit. Also, you have that future shock. I think it's now a 3.2 up in the front end, so you get nice suspension, great derailleur. Everything on this bike is super well thought out. Absolutely love this bike. Highly recommend it. It is quite expensive, so do try it before you buy it. Number three on this list, the Santa Cruz Skitch. This is a great kind of a do-everything e-bike. It gets, man, it gets just high reviews, high marks, but it's expensive. This is a premium super light e-bike, great components, mid-drive motor. Uh, this, this particular one here has the Apex SRAM uh, drivetrain and brakes and stuff like that. Just a really killer bike. And I know I said three bikes, but I'm going to have to go with four because I tell you what, this Trek FX Plus 7S is just a terrific bike from every all the details from the quad lock on the handlebars, wonderful tires that suck up all the bumps on the track, sure to bring a smile to your face. The overall aesthetic and feel and ride and look of this bike is just first class. Great fenders on it, solid spokes, solid drivetrain. It just rides so nice. It has quality components. It's got that Quiz uh, shifter derailleur in there, the great Bond Draugr parts and accessories and seats. And you can put one of those accessory range extenders. It charges up quickly. That's my quick super light e-bike list for 2526. Drop yours down below.